Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be taking a look back at my cards and your cards from my Shop Your Stash September Challenge series. I hope you'll stick around and see all of the wonderful creations. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. As you may know, last month I was trying to shop my stash and create. I wanted to use what I had already to make new projects because I was heading off to Stamp Joy 2021 and I needed to save my money for that. Well, good news, I was successful. I did not buy anything new crafty for myself last month and I was able to have a fun time at Stamp Joy and get all of the crafty things that I wanted. Now, I didn't buy out the store, but I did get quite a few. Now I'm thinking over the next few months, I'm going to have to be shopping my stash some more because we did find out the dates of the Stamp Joys in 2022. There's a virtual one in the spring and another in-person one in the fall. My sister and I had such a blast, and if you haven't already checked it out, I do have a Stamp Joy 2021 playlist linked in the description box below. So far, we did a live video after the event from the hotel on Saturday night, and I have shared the first video in my crafty vlog series, which shows me getting ready for the trip and meeting my sister at the hotel. I hope you'll check those out when you're done with this video. In front of me here are some of the projects I created for the Shop Your Stash September series. And in a little bit, I'm going to share what you created. Yes, I asked you to play along as well and upload your creations. And wow, you did not disappoint. I have loved looking through each of those and cannot wait to share them with you. If you enjoyed shopping your stash, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you didn't know about the Shop Your Stash September Challenge series, but you would kind of like to play along later and kind of save money on your own, you can always revisit those challenge videos and just create for fun. Let's go ahead and take a look back at all of the challenges and all of our lovely creations. Challenge number one was, are you kidding me? And for this challenge, I wanted you to get out some of those kits you have sitting around that had never been used and make something. Up on screen now are the cards that I created for the challenge. I used a past issue of Sheetload of Cards and a scrapbooking kit that I had from Hobby Lobby. And here is a look at the cards you created for challenge number one.
before we move on with challenge number two, I wanted to stop by with the QOTV or question of the video. Today's is just kind of for fun and has to do with the video. After watching everything, going through all the challenges, I would like to know which challenge produced some of your favorite cards. Let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that you've answered and would like me to see it. For my answer, make sure to keep watching and listening. Now on to challenge number two, which was to die for. For this challenge, I wanted you to get out a cutting die that you have never used before. Or if you don't have any dies, a punch or some kind of cutting tool. I created this baby card and I had never used the elephant die that is on the front. Here is a look at the projects you created for challenge number two. It was a hard decision and very close, but challenge number three, on repeat, produced some of my favorite cards that you have submitted. Now don't get me wrong, there were tons of favorites in here, but this was probably the biggest group. Up on screen now is the card that I made, and here is a look at the cards you created for the challenge.
You know that I love to be inspired by others on the internet. So challenge number four was all about that and called Oh So Inspired. You could either use a piece that I chose and create something inspired by it, or you could choose one of your own. Up on screen now is what I created, and here is a look at the cards you created. And the final challenge of the month, challenge number five, was to challenge yourself. I wanted you to go out on the internet and maybe find your favorite challenge blogger site and create a card for that. For myself, I used AAA cards challenge number 199. Here is a look at the cards you created. Wasn't that amazing? I think it is so great that we made so many new projects without having to go out and buy the latest thing or add more to our stash. We were able to dig in that closet or dig in that drawer and use what we had already to rise up to those challenges. Thank you to everyone who joined me and submitted a project. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.